Hello everyone. Welcome to a topic for today which is oral communication at the workplace. Oral communication is essential at the workplace. In order to conduct daily tasks, people have to communicate with others to get things done. It is the simplest and fastest way to share information and ideas with those around you. Examples of oral communication at the workplace include small talk, discussion, and meeting. I will begin with small talk. Small talk is informal talk that takes place in the workplace. We sometimes refer to it as chit chat. Let's start with the first question. Who are the participants? As you may already know, small talk may occur between people who are not familiar with one another, for example, a visitor to your office, or between those who are familiar with each other, for example, between colleagues. Typically, small talk involves those who are within the vicinity of the workplace, which may also include staff from another department, or support staff, such as the operator or janitor. Next, why small talk? Small talk is most commonly used as an icebreaker. It is also used to fill in time. For example, when you're waiting for an event to begin. People usually engage in small talk in order to be polite and to establish rapport with another person. The next question is, where do people make small talk? Small talk can happen anywhere. It can happen in the elevator, staff lounge, office pantry, or even the hallway. So, when do people make small talk? Generally, small talk takes place when you first meet someone. For example, when you bump into a client who is waiting to see your boss. Small talk is also used when there is a long wait period, such as during a break in a meeting. Finally, what do people say during small talk? The topics of small talk are usually safe topics, such as the weather, current events, or television shows. Sensitive, personal, and controversial issues are usually best avoided. Next, I will briefly talk about what is a discussion. Unlike small talk, a discussion in the workplace usually involves a group of people talking about something in order to reach a consensus or a decision. Discussion allows you to exchange information and ideas with those around you. They are very useful for making plans or troubleshooting problems for the company. Discussions that are more serious and involving more parties are usually conducted in the form of a meeting. Next, we will be focusing on meetings at the workplace. As you can see here, Meeting is defined as an act or process of having more than two persons for an assembly for a common purpose. Meetings can be divided into formal and informal meetings. Formal meetings are usually planned in advance, requiring an invitation, and are formally recorded. Informal meetings, on the other hand, may be unrecorded, ad hoc, or only called when necessary. There are various advantages to conducting meetings. The first is to allow face-to-face -face interaction. Being able to speak to someone in person enables you to circulate information effectively, as questions can be attended to on the spot. Conducting a meeting is also useful as it allows a company to keep things on track and ensure that things are progressing as planned. A meeting also allows one to obtain immediate feedback from the other meeting participants without having to wait for a follow-up email or phone call. 
apart from that. Another advantage of meeting is that it allows the meeting attendees to address different ideas and opinions. Finally, a meeting is also useful when the team needs to make instant or immediate decisions. On this slide, you will see the different types of meeting. For brevity's sake, as I don't want this video to run too long, I will just briefly present each to you. The first is informational meeting, followed by decision-making meeting, problem-solving meeting, project team meeting, working committee meeting, and finally, departmental meeting. Based on the names of the different types of meeting, you should be able to guess what their purposes are. For more details about these different types of meeting, you can refer to pages 105 to 107 of your textbook. Next, I am going to talk about meeting procedures. You will see in the slide things that you need to do to prepare for and to participate in a meeting. Before the meeting, it is usually the secretary's responsibility to prepare and send all meeting documents. This may include the meeting notice, agenda, minutes of the last meeting, and other relevant documents. During the meeting, it is the duty of the chairperson to start the meeting by stating the purpose, explaining the agenda, and establishing ground rules. You will notice that I have highlighted the chairperson's role in green font. This will then be followed by the apologies for absence, in case someone could not attend the meeting, a discussion of the minutes of the last meeting, and matters arising from the previous meeting. Then, the meeting will move on to the main agenda items. This is the most important part of the meeting and will typically involve active participation from all meeting participants. So this is where the meeting participants will indicate their agreement or disagreement, state their opinions, ask for or give clarifications, put up suggestions, state their preferences, and make decisions related to the agenda items. Once all the agenda items have been covered, the meeting will proceed to any other business before moving on to suggesting a date for the next meeting. The chairperson will then wrap up the discussion and adjourn the meeting. After the meeting is over, the secretary will prepare the minutes of the meeting and distribute it to all the meeting participants for record and follow-up actions. Please note that it is important for you to understand thoroughly the meeting procedures as these skills will be tested in your upcoming meeting assessment. I will provide more detailed instructions regarding the assessment in another lesson. That's all for now, and don't forget to check out Unit 3 for more details. Until my next video, stay home and stay safe.